Good afternoon, my name is Andrew. I'm here to go over the 2020 Alfa Romeo Stelvio TI Sport brought to you by Aristocrat Motors. This is a drive experience to get an inside look of the car as well as the features and technology that comes with it. As shown above, we have technical gauges to update us as we go. Not only that, we will dig in to see how it handles on the road as well as the safety features and near self-driving that comes capable as well on the car. Let's dive in. So with the TI Sport, I have options to add on um, a sport suspension to make a stiffer ride sport tuned vehicle. Even though it is an SUV, it is an Italian sports car which makes it really fun, agile, and nimble to drive. Right away you're going to notice my large paddle shifters that I can automatically use if I like. Or I can go from my drive mode selectors back to natural to dynamic. So right now I'm in natural, which means my limiters are off, but I still have a comfort steering and suspension as is not to rev up higher RPMs. Once I go to the dynamic mode, my RPMs go higher, higher revs, as well as a stiffer steering and suspension. Immediately I can feel a difference between the turbo from natural to normal to dynamic. When I drive in the dynamic mode, I can just feel I want to go and pull me. The torque is, is apparent. As we get on the highway, I will show an example of how to use the paddle shifters, as well as using the near self-driving capabilities to help me in my aid with a road trip or daily driving. So my traffic dram assist is already ready, which that will mean if I'm in event of rush hour traffic or if I'm in construction zones it will not only keep me centering the lanes but it will also create lanes for me and I just set it as my regular cruise control it's set to 76 and I can move it higher as we go as you can tell I already have lines lit up for my lane departure alert as well as a car in front of me to let me know that my adaptive cruise control is on. Of course, the increase of speed that I go, as soon as it picks up a car, it'll tell me. The cool thing about this is that I can add as many lines as I want to give myself more space or less space. And it will go off the speed of the car in front of me, whether they go 80 miles an hour or slow down to a complete stop. And of course I can adjust that to get closer and closer. And this is my drive. And I get to the point where I can just hold on like this. But of course if I take it off, it's going to light up and then eventually say, put your hands back on the steering wheel. Beyond that, if I go into another lane, it'll self-correct me pull me back into the lane. And then it slows down for the person in front of me. If I just want to get off this, all I need to kind of do is cancel my radar cruise control and it's off. <laughs> 